everyone my name is dara simi and i am your study abroad body so if you're looking forward to study outside of your own country this is the family that you should belong to so do well by subscribing to my channel like i said in my last video that i'm going to be making a study abroad series so today is going to be the first video and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you some pre-application tips that you need to put into consideration if you're planning to study outside of your own country so the number one thing is for you to start early if you are still an undergrad this is the perfect time for you to start your application process you don't need to apply but there are some important things that you need to do before you get to the stage of application so if you are still an undergrad you need to build your cgpa and you also need to have good relationship with your lecturers because for some of you you are going to need recommendation letters and it is your lecturers that will be in a good position to write these recommendation letters for you so you want to have a good relationship with your lecturer so that when it is time for you to apply and you need their recommendation they'll be able to put in good words for you which is going to support your application and also you need to build your cgpa i know for some people in nigeria they have this ideology that education is a scam i want to tell you today that education is not a scam because there are some scholarship out there that is only available that is only open to first class graduates second class upper graduates so it is a good thing for you to build your cgp and this is not to discourage people that does not have like a strong cgpa there are other things that you can do to support your cgpa you can enroll in online courses to support your cgpa you can volunteer if your course is lab related you can volunteer at laboratories around you in order to gain valuable skills that will help you in graduate school next thing is for you to get all your necessary documents so if you are still in school as an undergrad or if you've graduated one of the documents that is very important is your international passports i know that for schools like if you're applying to schools in the uk if you're applying to schools in the us you might not need your international passport at the application stage but there are a lot of countries in this universe and some of these countries will require that you have your international passport at the stage of application so that is why it is important to get your international passport also for some schools when you are in let's say your if your um, course is for four years and you are still in your third year of study some schools allow you to apply before and so you need to get your transcript also even if you cannot apply yet after getting your international passport once you graduate you want to get your academic transcript you want to get your official academic transcript so the thing about transcripts in nigeria like i really don't understand this thing i know for my school if you want to get your transcript you can get your transcript like you can have a copy of your transcripts and you can also tell the school to send a copy of your transcript to the university that you're applying to but i know that for some um universities in nigeria especially government-owned university they don't issue transcript to their students i don't know why they insist like you have to send the transcript to an organization or something but please whatever your own situation is find out from your university find out from people that have gone ahead of you how they collected your transcript because for some schools you don't need to send your transcript over to them just a scanned copy of your transcript you need to sort out everything during the application process also want to start reaching out to your university lecturers let them know of your intention to further your education and let them know that you'll be needing their help when it comes to recommendations so that when they get email from universities they won't be surprised um there are also some universities that you don't even need to submit recommendation letters at all. Your transcript, your certificate, and your personal statement is enough to get you admission. Whereas there are some universities, especially in the UK, US, Canada, Australia, and a lot of other countries like that there are some countries where you need recommendation letters for some country you are going to need three recommendation letters so i would advise that you have at least 
three people that can write you a strong recommendation letter the next thing is for you to choose your destination country for some people they are so fixated on united kingdom united states of america and canada but the truth is that there are a lot of countries in this universe you might want to explore other countries if you don't want to go to the us uk or canada there are a lot of countries in europe that you can go to south africa is also there they have good schools with good reputation so when you are choosing universities you want to choose universities that has good reputation such that when you graduate your certificate is not going to be useless also there are some universities that they are excellent in the particular field of study you also want to consider that when you are choosing the university that you would want to go to there are some universities that are top when it comes to agricultural courses engineering courses food science related courses um media and art and so on you might also want to consider that when you are choosing the university that you want to go to another thing you would want to put into consideration is your personal preferences such as the climate the lifestyle the cultural diversity and also the language when it also comes to choosing a destination country you want to consider the cost of living after choosing the destination country or countries that you would love to go to you need to start looking out for universities in all of these countries after looking for universities in all of these countries you need to put into consideration the academic prerequisites for each of these university some universities require you to submit a lot of documents whereas some universities does not require you to so you must check out all these requirements and decide which one you would love to go for some universities will require you to write GRE or GMAT depending on the course you are going for. Some will require you to submit a language proficiency test such as RELTS or TOEFL. Whereas some school would automatically waive it for you if you are from a certain country, like they would list the countries in their website. Whereas for some university, they would just require that your school, your previous university, send an official letter to them stating that the language of instruction was in english language some universities also have entrance examination that you have to write or you need to go for an interview before you can be granted admission it's important to prepare the right documents such as your transcript your degree certificate your reference or recommendation letter statement of purpose or personal statement statement of purpose is different from personal statement and sometimes um it might be letter of motivation so letter of motivation and personal statement they are the same whereas statement of purpose is different from personal statement so you need to know the difference between these two things i remember applying to a university in the us i was told to write statement of purpose i was told to write um personal statement and i was also told to write a diversity statement so i wrote three different essays to this university so you need to check order to know what they are requiring from you and if you are ready to give it to them i also remember then checking a university in the united states of america they were requesting for almost four different type of essay i was like no i'm not <laughs> like i'm not doing this thing this is a lot already so i did not apply to the school so you need to consider all of these things when you're applying to university when i was applying to universities i made use of a notebook where i wrote different universities the requirement if they needed gre if they needed toefl if they are going to waive toefl for me like different requirements there are some universities that they are going to waive toefl for you if you are willing to sponsor yourself but if you are seeking to get a graduate research or graduate teaching assistantship you need to write it so different schools different requirements when it comes to graduate school application it is a full-time job on its own in order to make this first stage easy for you guys i'm going to put links to some websites that is going to help you to search for universities such as WHED, there is master's portal for those that want to go for master's degree, there is PhD portal. So make use of all these websites in order to streamline and check the universities that you would like to go to and also i would put a link to a document you can download the document and edit the document so um, i'm going to make it easy for you in the document you would see things like um, university 
application fee so if the university requires you to pay an application fee you are going to write the amount if they are going to waive it for you there are some universities that would waive application fee for you if you attend their graduate school exposition they will waive it for you like i got a lot of application fee waiver in the united states of america and i also got an application fee waiver in the united kingdom i remembered i just sent like an email to them that okay because of my financial status blah 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 like that and they granted me the application fee waiver and i got the admission so there are a lot of things that you could do in order to get application fee waiver by attending graduate school exposition there's this platform that host like different university when it comes to graduate school exposition you can make use of the platform it's called career echo i'm going to put the link in the description box also so you can just click on the website check the career exposition like you can speak with graduate advisor ask them questions things that you're not clear about you ask them questions and then they will respond to you and also in some cases they give students application fee waiver just request for it if they are not going to give you they will say no but there is no harm in you asking for it you need to also check university website some universities will put it on their website that they have a particular graduate school exposition and when you attend it you are going to get an application fee waiver um i mean i got a lot of application fee waiver there was a graduate school exposition that i attended then it was at Purdue university and by attending just that graduate school exposition they called um i think Purdue university is under this big 10 school um, sort of thing uh, i don't really know how to explain it but then they have like um a couple of other universities under that big 10 so by attending that Purdue graduate school exposition i was able to get other application fee waiver to other universities that is under that big 10 something yeah you get what i'm trying to say so explore 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 you need to explore graduate school is not a joke graduate school application is a full-time job you need to devote your time you need to devote your money you need internet you need data in order to search for all of these universities most importantly you need god to direct you to which university to which country you need to go to and i hope this video is able to help someone if you have more questions or more clarification on things that i did not touch please do well to drop it in the comment section and please do not forget to subscribe do not forget to share this video with your friends and family because this is going to be a beautiful ride and your dreams are valid so do not give up bye and thank you for joining me